this is Nora again. I um, hope you enjoyed all of the holiday books you've heard so far. This one has a little bit of Spanish in it, and it's about uh, Latino, Hispanic Christmas customs, and a lot of them you'll find familiar because we celebrate this way in New Mexico. This is an alphabet book, and it's a lot of fun to read. And it's called N A is for Navidad. You know what Navidad means? Christmas in Spanish, that's right. So let's start with all the letters in the Spanish alphabet. A is for Angel, hung high by Papa. How many of you hang angels in your house and on your Christmas tree? They're really pretty. Ve is for Bumuelos, fried by Mama. Uh, special holiday donuts. Se is for Campanas, at the church down the street. Like at the Presbyterian Church, they have a bell. J is for chiles, to string but not to eat. How many of you decorate with chiles? You have a chile wreath? D is for dulces, a sweet preparation. Holiday candies, you always have lots of those. A is for estrella, a bright decoration. Stars, we put stars everywhere. And this is a piñata in the shape of an estrella. F.A. is for Flor de Noche Buena, so pretty. Do you know what kind of flower that is? It's a poinsettia, a traditional Christmas flower. Hay is for gente, the folks in our city. All the people who live in Placitas and nearby areas will be celebrating Christmas. H is for hogar. Las posadas begin. At each house they say, no room in the end. Do you know what a posada is? Have you been to the posada in the village of Placitas, where people gather together and sing Christmas carols and travel around uh, asking for lodging on Christmas Eve, just like Mary and Joseph did the night that Jesus was born? And then they come inside after the posada and have a big party. E is for Iglesia, our beautiful church. We pass it each night as we go on our search. J is for Jose, Maria by his side. K is for Kilometros, the traveler's long ride. L is for Luminarias, hooray. They're paper bag candles that light up the way. How many of you use Luminarias, whether Paper bags or electric ones. Aye is for Yegada, the arrival to Earth, and just four more days will honor his birth. Eme is for Mantilla, the abuela will wear a lacy black scarf to cover her hair. How many of you have Mantillas you wear to church? Ene is for Nacimiento, that we've made. That's the nativity scene. And Enye, the second N, is for Nino. He'll soon be displayed. So if you've ever been down to Albuquerque, to Old Town, you'll see the Nacimiento, all the nativity scene um, occupants, like the shepherds and the kings. And on Christmas Eve, they put the baby Jesus in the manger. At midnight, we all head to church for La Misa. At last, Navidad, each mouth a sonrisa a big smile on everyone's face. O is for ojos, just look down at the food. Deep fried and baked and roasted and stewed. Pe is for pesebre, where Jesus was born. And also pan dulce, we'll eat in the morn. How many has sweet treats on Christmas morning? Q is for quesadillas, delicious. Tia has cooked them, so guess who does the dishes? Everybody else. R is for risas. We laugh at the joke. Tio has tricked us again. We're still broke. He won't let them get a hold of the money. R is for arroz. Rice to go with the beans. Company's coming. We know what that means. S is for sacerdote, the priest who's here as our guest. He's joined us for supper. We're acting our best. We all have to act our best when we have company. Te is for tamales, our New Year's Eve treat. 
U is for Uvas, the 12 that will eat. There's one for each month of the upcoming year. We eat them all quickly. Salud and good cheer. We all eat grapes. We eat 12 grapes for good luck in the 12 months of the new year. V is for Vantana. We look to the sky and pick the star that the three kings traveled by. Double V is for wise men. Tres Vs, three kings. X is for excelente, the feeling he brings. Y is for hierba, the camel's main dish. That's the straw. The zeta is for zapatos, so we'll, go, we'll get our wish. We set out the shoes and the wise men come through with presents and candy and blessings for you. So the camels eat the straw and the wise men leave little gifts in the shoes like when you hang your stocking on uh, the mantle. A long wait till next year to find a posada. But what could be better than Christmas? Well, nada, nothing's better than Christmas. We hope you enjoyed all your holiday stories. Feliz Navidad means Merry Christmas in Spanish. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy Holidays to everyone. We look forward to seeing you at the library again soon. Thank you for listening.